everyone, I'm attorney Ayhan Agmin. Uh, today I will be explaining you about family-based immigration categories, uh, the visas uh, to the U.S. We can say that there are two groups of family-based immigrant visa categories available out there. One will be for immediate relatives one, and second will be the family preference one. So, and these two uh, categories are actually provided under the United States immigration law. Especially we can say that INA, which is the Immigration and Nationality Act. First of all, to apply for an immediate relative or family preference immigrant visas, you have to follow the steps on the immigrant uh, visa process. Uh, once you have completed all the steps, your um, you will receive an instruction from the MVC, which is the National Visa Center, along with the information presented uh, on this website for further guidance on instructions. And first, you will need to actually file the petition. This petition is called Form I-130, uh, and this petition only can be filed now with the United States uh, Citizenship and Immigration Services in the U.S. And your petition will be evaluated and approved by the USCIS District Office. If your petition is approved, the original petition will be sent to National Visa Center, MVC. And um, once the MVC has this petition, after receiving your petition, uh, if visa number is readily available for your case, MVC will contact and inform you um, about the required documents. Some immigrant visa categories are numerically limited, limited actually, therefore a visa number may not be available at the time of petition approval, so you will need to end up actually waiting for timeline. After you have completed the steps, on the immigrant visa process, uh, including actually paying the necessary fees and submitting the required documents to actually MVC, such as a favor of sport um, and, and other uh, background check, the ATC, um, they will actually, the MVC will actually review your file, uh, make sure that everything's actually completed. Once your case becomes qualified for actually an appointment at the US consulate, MVC will work with you and of course if you're working with an attorney let's say with your attorney uh, to make sure that uh, you get your you know interview appointment at the consulate once this is ready and the consulate appointment date is ready all the applicant ha will have to do actually get the medical exam done which by a doctor that actually the US consulate works with and then you know get the uh, get the original documents such as the you know let's say marriage certificate divorce degrees or of course the passport and appear at the U.S. consulate. What the, once the U.S. consulate does the appointment, and we see if there's anything is missing, they will tell the applicant to gather those together. If everything's completed, actually, then the consulate will approve the case, and it will approve the file, and actually will mail the uh, the, the passport with the current immigrant visa to actually the applicant's address or place that is actually met, you know uh, he or she chose earlier. So if you or you know, your loved one or your friends uh, need any help regarding the immigrant visa process and needs a legal uh, advice or legal actually help uh, for, for the process, feel free to reach us or office number 212-245-7070 or email address info at agwinlow.com. Thank you.